This is an Evinrude 35 horsepower E35 RCND outboard from 1982. I ran it into too many sandbars and rivers and messed up something in the lower unit. For a while I couldn't figure out how to get the lower unit off and then I saw another YouTube video that showed if you take these off on both sides and you put a wrench, half inch wrench there, another one there, this one turns, this one stays fixed. When you slide that out there's a little plastic keeper with a slit that you have to take off of there and then you'll be able to wiggle it forward and get that flare nut all the way off and then the whole lower unit will come out Next, I had to give this thrust washer just a little pry to get it off. And you can see there's, inside there, there's a bolt. There's actually two on this. Some outboards have more. This is a 5 16 So get a long extension in there, and I'll take these two bolts out. I got the two bolts out. I thought I had completely drained the oil but not quite and as you can see by all of the metal flakes in there I expect that pretty much all the gears are shot inside that lower unit we'll see when we get it apart Okay. I made a bearing puller out of 2 by 2 quarter 20 threaded rod and a half inch bolt and I put this nut barely sticking off the end of the prop shaft to keep this bolt from walking off as I tighten it down. You can see there it's starting to come off. It's working. There it is. I think it's broken free. Perfect. The next challenge will be getting this snap ring off. If I'm lucky, I can get these needle nose pliers on it. Lesson here is use the right tool for the job. Don't use needle nose pliers. Use the right tool, then you'll be able to get that ring out real easy. It does take a fair amount of force to compress that ring and that angled tip on these ring removal pliers makes all the difference. Using that threaded rod I was able to pry this little retaining plate off easily. Now I need to remove the shift linkage yoke here. It was starting to twist when I unscrewed here so I'm holding it with the pliers. Then I'll just unscrew this from the top here. I was able to pull the shift yoke out just by pulling it a little forward at the bottom where it has the hook and then pulling it out. You can see it's just got that little hook there. So I pulled it out and then kind of up and then out like that. By wiggling this in and out, I'm starting to get the prop shaft loose. Next we're going to take this shift linkage pivot pin out because that seems to be hanging up the works to getting the prop shaft out. I got that screw and its o-ring out now I'm going to give the prop shaft another go. Having a little trouble figuring out what's hung up on so I'm going to take this reverse gear off. Oh. Now that one's going to need replaced. Now I'm able to slide the shaft out. I've got this towel here in case the little ball bearing, you can see one of them down there, and spring. I don't want them to get lost, the ones that go in this hole. Okay, I was able to get my hand in there and pull out the clutch dog and this 
shift lever attachment to the clutch dog, some small, the ball bearings and the spring that go in there. The forward gear I was able to pull down and under the pinion, it's destroyed. Looking in there, the pinion's destroyed. There's metal everywhere. Um, that bearing's probably shot. Fun times. I couldn't figure out where these little round cylinders were coming from. Now I know. Looks like that there's supposed to be a thrust washer and then a bearing and another thrust washer. It looks like one thrust washer is gone and the bearings are just destroyed. And that pinion's destroyed. For now I'm just leaving that crankshaft attached with that water pump. I'm just using a large wrench to coax that pinion out. coax it off the end of the shaft there. There's so many metal shavings in there I decided to take the water pump and the drive shaft out. And the mystery of the missing pinion thrust washer has been solved. There it is. It's in there. I might need to get a rod and drive it out from the top because it's kind of jammed in there. Then I have some major cleanup to do inside here. Check for damage inside that bore and then rebuild it with new parts. Going to need new reverse gear, new pinion, new forward gear. I think I can salvage the clutch dog and, uh, and the shaft seems good. Probably be able to clean up that bearing too.